we're then at this point where we need land and I was presenting um, Stephen Tim's MP had hosted a parliamentary reception and I'm doing this parliamentary reception and then I just get this little gnarly voice in my ear going you got no money he got no land this is fantasy you know and so my wife and I went to a, um, a conference in the States and we were praying for land and this lady came up to us and she said um, I believe God's spoken to me and I've got a word for you and the word is he's got some heavenly land for you which was amazing to go across the planet halfway across the planet and hear God's word to you from somebody who has no idea what you're doing so we have a team as you'd expect you know this is this project is about answered prayer we have a team of people who pray so i phone them i go hey we've just had this word that god's got some land and this lady said well if uh, if god's got the land then i'll just ask him where it is that'll save us a lot of time won't it and i was like well yeah okay <laughs> and uh, but then she 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 went away and she prayed and then she sent me emailed me this map and the map just circled the map and said either this is the land or the person who owns it is really significant for the project and what she didn't know was the person who owned that land had emailed me and asked to meet just a few days previously and I meet with him and he's a, he's a wealthy wealthy uh, landowner in the Midlands and I share my heart and I'm trying to share the vision and as all these businessmen are just poker face, no idea what's going on behind the scenes. But at the end of the meeting, he then tells me that he'd set up a trust fund um, six months before God had given me the vision. So 18 and a half years ago, he'd set up a trust fund. And one of the aims was to build a national landmark about Jesus. You know, incredible. Isn't that incredible? And then he went away to pray and said, I'll give you some land. And uh, he gave me an, a different piece of land, so which was amazing. So we're on this land going, this is great. And the lady who's prayed was like, this is not the right one. I said, look, he's given us some land. Let's not, you know, <laughs> let's not be picky. But six months later, he phoned me and said, it's not worked out. Now, I never told him where this lady had circled because I didn't, you don't want to manipulate a situation. So he gave me another piece of land. And then six months later, that didn't work. And then he paid an architect to look at all the land that he owned. And the architect came back with a piece that the lady had circled some years previous. So when he discovered the story about the woman, yeah, I then, mean, that's incredible. It's a gobsmacking oh, moment, isn't it? I mean... And, and um, yeah, and, and it's amazing. And it's an amazing... You know, you couldn't have picked a better piece because it is in between the M6 and the M42... HS2 is going to go about 100 metres close to it. Uh, the planes, I was on a plane yesterday, and you can see the land as you take off. It's incredible. We think... Uh, and the number of cars each day on yeah, the motorway? It's, well, it's 790,000 people will see it every week. Every week. 